take 60. Oh, I don't know if I got enough beer left. Oh, hey, welcome to this segment of This Old Guy Likes to Bake, Cook, and Eat. Yes, I do. Well, this is going to pair up real well with what we're making tonight. <laughs> yes, it is going to. <laughs> Anyways, guess what we're going to be making tonight? Something real simple and easy. Takes about an hour and a half, though. Hour and 45 minutes. Mine took an hour and a half, but it may take longer. Eh, give or take a little. But anyhow, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Too much beer. This is what what we're going to be making. Stuffed pizza. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to be making tonight. But we're going to be making it a little different. We're going to be making it in a crock pot. Yeah, in a crock pot. Can you believe that? Yeah. I hope you got one. It's got to be at least a three and a half to four quarts of crock pot. I guess that's the average size. I don't know. I got three different sizes. So anyhow, I'm using my, I think it's a four quarts what I'm using. But that's what you need. Oh, oh, you need other ingredients too, not just a crock pot. You're going to need at least, oh, get that pen and paper. I'll, I'll wait a second or two while you get the paper. Oh, oh, you back yet? Okay. <laughs> well, I'm running out of beer. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm sorry. Anyhow, what you're going to need, the ingredients is uh, something like that. <laughs> I hope I could get through this. <laughs> well, you're going to need at least one can of refrigerated pizza crust or pizza dough. Some places can't call it pizza dough because of rights. So they call it pizza crust. An 11 ounce can. You know, they come in that tube. I got cheat notes because I couldn't remember what I had to say anymore. So you need at least one can. They're tubular type cans. 11 ounces, minimum. Uh, the one I got, I think it's like 15 ounces, 14 ounces, something like that. So it's a little more dough. That's what I got. But uh, anyhow, oh, then you're gonna need can you believe this? You're going to need pizza sauce. Yeah, about one third cup. Use whatever you want. The, the jar I bought was uh, 14 ounces. So I used about half the jar. Some people like more sauce, some like it less. So it's up to you. It's personal, per, 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 it's your preference. <laughs> yeah, I got it out. It's your preference. Whatever you, how much sauce you want to use. But one third cup is generally what you should put on there. Uh, then, this is my own take on this part. The, then, then you're going to need, or what I used was one quarter cup, no, one quarter pound of uh, Italian sausage, the bulk type. Or if you can't get it bulk, buy Italian sausage, cut the, the skin off and use the inside. And fry it up with another quarter pound of ground beef. That's what I use. I use a quarter pound of ground beef and a quarter pound of Italian sausage. Fry it up before you put it in a crock pot. It's all be got, got to be cooked first and uh, just combine it. Mix it together. Who cares, right? You're going to be eating it anyhow. It's going down the same spot. <laughs> so that's what you need. Then, this is not in my notes. This is up here. Then I use four Bacon strips, yeah, I fried those up, got them all nice and crispy, crumble them up and toss them in. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. And and then I used, uh, uh, I didn't cook these up though, so they might be a little al dente. I, I made, uh, I put in there um, green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and a red bell pepper. Well, not the whole thing, I just sliced and diced and threw some in there. So yeah, once again, to your preference, how much you want to put in there. If it looks like too much, Pluck some out. If it looks like not enough, throw some back in. <laughs> so it's your preference. This is kind of a freehand type recipe. So, and then, oh, you gotta have cheese. Unless you're allergic to cheese or don't like cheese, but at least a, one cup of cheese. And eh, can you use a little bit more. I wouldn't go hog wild on cheese, but one cup is a minimum cheese. You know, once you spread it on there, if it looks like you need a couple more little spread of the shredded cheese, shredded cheese, dust it in there. Whatever you like to use. They call for mozzarella. I use some mozzarella. I use some, I use a variety pack. You know, those packs that you could buy where it's already shredded, they're two cups usually. So a half a pack usually. Or if you want, Pull a little more out and sprinkle it on here yeah, to your taste once again. So anyhow, yo, that's it. See how simple it was? It's going to take about an hour and a half in a crock pot. But you know what? Let's get going. I wasted too much time yapping. Let's get going and show you how to put it together. You spray 
your um, dish or whatever the heck this is, your crack pot, <laughs> you spray that with uh, some non-bacon uh, cooking spray, your favorite spray. Now you're going to take your pizza dough, if you don't rip it up like I just did, and you're going to try to spread it inside here. You want to go up to the side for about an inch on the side. Got to work it around about an inch on the side. <laughs> Don't worry, if you rip it, you can repair it. <laughs> Once you get that all spread around, go up, try to get it up to side about an inch it says. I don't know. I couldn't get mine to go up that high. Anyways, you want to put a little tomato sauce in there. Not tomato sauce, pizza sauce. <laughs> pizza sauce. I guess if you can't find tomato sauce, I guess pizza sauce would be good enough. Spread that around a little. Get it all over. Once you got your pizza sauce uh, spread out on the bottom, now you take your sausage or hamburger meat or whatever you're using. I'm using a combination of uh, Italian sausage and uh, ground beef. Put that in there. Now I got four slices of bacon. I'm just going to crumble those up around. Put all the bacon all in. I only did four slices because they were big, but once I cooked them, they kind of shrunk, but it looks like enough. I'm also putting some uh, bell pepper in there, green, yellow, and uh, red bell pepper in there also. I'll scoop it all in. Now I'm going to pour a little more sauce on top of that, just a little. Now I'm going to put the cheese on. I'm using a, a pizza type cheese that's in a pre-packaged thing in one of these bags. It's already shredded and everything. Cover and set the timer. We're going for an hour and a half. Hour and a half. That's what they said. We'll see what what happens. Okay, it's been an hour and a half in the crock pot. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Well, I guess it looks like pizza. The only way to tell is we taste it, right? <laughs> so let's try to get it out of there. Okay, let's try it with the spatula now. Get underneath it. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Do we got it? Do we got it? Here it comes. Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> I don't have to cut it now. Oh, well. Yeah. There we go. I guess the hardest thing is getting it out of the, uh, getting out of the crock pot. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting old. You got to excuse me. Yeah. You know what? It's taste time. Well. It's taste time. I would recommend to use two spatulas to lift this thing out because it got kind of heavy. And uh, that spray, if you don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try that next time. I won't use it. It did cook through. See, the bottom's nice and brown. The sides are brown. Uh, duh. <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like. If you don't like thick dough, don't eat this because it's thick and doughy, it's heavy. It's cooked, it's just, I think from that spray, might have made the dough too moist when it's cooking. So I wouldn't use that if you really don't need to. Um, but I will use two spatulas, one on each side and lift it out because it's heavy. Uh, the dough, the cheese melted nice. Um, oh. Not bad. The vegetables that I put in there, the, the peppers and stuff, cook just right, just right. So I give this a thumbs up, believe it or not. I mean, it's not like the pizza from Pizzeria, but hey, for a fun night, this is supposed to be, feed four at least, right? That's so they say. I don't know. If you cut it in eight slices, it'll feed eight people. If you cut it in 12, maybe it'll feed 12 people. So, anyways, I 
think that works. I don't know. <laughs> it's the same size, 8 or 12. Uh, it should be the same. Oh, well. But uh, actually, it tastes good. I'm surprised. Real surprised. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. This old guy likes to bake, cook, and eat. Yes, I do. Until next time. <laughs> yes, until next time. See you then. Bye. Not bad.